I will win Survivor because I've won a couple of Super Bowls. I've won a couple of national championships. Now, to top it off, I'll win Survivor. He's Jimmy Johnson. I mean, he's not just a celebrity. He's a celebrity that comes with so much history. One of the winningest coaches in any sport of all time. So you have that leadership guy coming in, but you also have the hair, the personality. I gotta be honest, I'm not sure how this interview is gonna go because I am a hardcore Redskins fan, my friend. I mean, big time. So I'm a little <laughs> not sure I feel about you being here. Well, I actually think the Redskins will do a lot better this year. Mike Shanahan's an outstanding coach. They got my quarterback with McNabb. So they'll be better. They'll okay. still be behind the Cowboys. Oh, stop it. Stop <laughs> it. See, I knew this, wasn't gonna, knew this wasn't going to go well. I will admit that spending 30 minutes talking to him and casting, I don't want to vote him off. You a little starstruck, bro? I'm starstruck. You a little starstruck? Got a little I, crush? A little man crush? I got a little man crush on Jimmy Johnson. You know, we went to, to have a little meeting and we grabbed a taco. And I was like, tell me another story, Jimmy. Which one of your former players would do the best on this show, if you dropped them all on an island, who would be the last man standing? Zach Thomas, formerly with Miami Dolphins. Yep. I, I think he would be outstanding. Uh, Michael Irvin, I think, would do good uh, from the Cowboys. Um, you need to keep, keep his temper in check? Yeah, that, that's, you know, Michael, even though he had a temper and even though he would want to take charge, he was extremely likable. Mm -hmm. And the same way with Zach, and both of them are are very efficient as far as uh, making sure they do their task. Mm -hmm. And so I think they both would do extremely well because they're both extremely likable by the other contestants. Troy Aikman's not gonna like the fact you didn't drop his name in there. He's not gonna like that at well, all. Well, Troy, I don't know I don't know how well he'd do on Survivor. He's a little bit of a, a diva. <laughs> <laughs> and so I don't know that he's gonna like a lot of bugs biting on him. What about your uh, Fox Sports co-hosts? How would they do that here? Bradshaw would fail miserably. You know, Bradshaw is so spoiled. Uh, there's no way in the world that he could last 10 minutes on Survivor. Plus, he wouldn't ever be on time because you know he's never on time for anything else. Uh, and then and Howie Long, Howie would fight through it for a while. Uh, Michael Strahan, because he's younger and probably a little bit more athletic than the rest of us, because he is younger, uh, Michael would do pretty good. What are the odds I'm going to get you to sing Hail to the Redskins on camera right now? Uh, I think it's absolutely nil.